lotus pose, also called Padmasana in Sanskrit, is not the easiest um, pose or it's not the beginner's pose. So please, 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 if you're going to attempt to do this pose, make sure that you're nicely warmed up. So to start with, you can just what, take one leg up, whichever one, we're going to do both of them obviously in your own time, but um, check that your shin is parallel to the sky, your foot is flexed, your ankle, and you're supporting your knee. Do not bring your heel in too far, otherwise you're going to twist your knee, so keep the chest nice and tall and the, the shin parallel to the chest. If you can take it further, you hug that knee into your chest without rounding the spine, we push the belly button forward, so with a nice straight spine we see if we can rock that um, hip so we can open up the hip joint there's also a lot more stretches that we could do we come down forward into our lunges and then we push the hips forward 90 degree angle on that front knee again we'll do both knees you can rotate the knee in and out the hip in and out so that you get a nice opening then you can take yourself into your lizard pose, relaxing the elbows down to the floor, checking that the spine is not rounded, you straighten your spine, you push your belly button towards the front floor and you get a nice deep hip opener here as well as a hip flexor stretch. Um, if you find it difficult to come down onto the floor, please just have your hands on the floor or perhaps place a couple of blocks underneath your hips. Only when you're ready, if you've done enough stretches for your hips, there's more, 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 more you can do. So go into the full lotus, you can start with a half lotus actually as well. So we take one foot onto the thigh, the other one stays down. And perhaps you can just come down forward a little bit, giving yourself a nice stretch on the glutes as well. And when you're ready, you're going to then release the opposite foot. If once you release your foot, you try to lift it up, but your leg resists, it doesn't lift up, so there's no freedom, please don't go any further and just work on your half lotus. If you're able to, you then bring your foot up, try to bring those heels in parallel with your hip flexors and hip bones, and then you push your knees down towards the floor for a nice, nice, nice opening. You can take your half lotus into a, sorry, full lotus, into a twist and into a bind, keep opening up that chest, or you can even better, oh, it's a really, really good stretch, come forward onto your tummy. Once you're on your knees, start slowly walking the hands, keeping the, um, the, the feet fine, and then you come down onto your tummy to give yourself a nice release, a nice stretch, letting your back to relax, letting your hips to open up. Spend as much time as you want to come up, palms in line with the chest, you lengthen yourself up, and then one hand at a time, you bring your hands back to bring yourself back down onto the floor. For me, it's brilliant. But for you, if it's still too advanced, please continue on your half lotus or just your simple hip openers until you feel ready. Thank you for watching.